Hi people, this is Angel from PRGV Entertainment and today I'm going to teach you guys how to work with the part on the part 3 with your character inserting the animations into the Unreal Engine and then also how to add the animations in the game. So, first of all, I'm going to explain a couple of things here and let's go to a blueprint folder, character folder here. There we go. And here we have the blueprint for the hero TPP uh, animation that this is the the blueprint the animation that they have on this project or the third person uh, code and blueprint wizard on the Unreal Engine this is the animation they have for the little blue guy and in here as you can see on the event graphs you can see that we have a variable that is called that is called is in air and another one that is speed now uh, as you can see, these these two variables that we have here, we will be using them on our project, so we cannot change this. It has to be the same name of the variables. So first of all, let's start with the project inside uh, my folder that you see here is called my char. It's also my character. I'm going to create two other folders and it's going to be blueprints blueprints and animations so inside the folder animations I'm going to have all my animations inside the blueprint is going to be the blueprint animation and here inside my character is going to be the files for the character the FBX files so I'm going to import those I'm going to start importing my character here it's going to be a skeletal mesh. So I'm going to import this. This is going to be a little bit long, a uh, uh, long, badass tutorial, but I hope that it helps you guys. I'm trying to make it easy because I will be explaining everything so you can understand. Now, inside the animations folder, I'm going to create. I'm gonna import the animations. I only have two animations. This is the running animation and the idle. So I'm gonna import those two. I'm gonna choose animation and I'm gonna choose human test skeleton because that is the skeleton for my character. There we go again. So now we have the idle animation and the running animation. Now on my car, uh, my char folder, I'm gonna create a uh, blend space here with the human test skeleton. I'm gonna name this anim guy. I'm gonna enter into the properties of those, and I'm gonna add uh, the animations to that blend. As you can see, we have on the X axis label has none. We need to use the variable speed, and also we need to set up the range to seven three seventy five. I think that will be nice. And now let's set the apply parameter uh, parameter changes. And okay, it's already done it. So now we need to add our animations. And as you can see, that's the idle. This is the one running that it really sucks. So let's add the idle first at the start. And I'm gonna leave uh, the running for the end. There we go. So now that we have already added those animations to the blend file, let's save it. Let's close this here. And now let's create a blueprint inside our blueprint folder. And it's gonna be animation blueprint on animation blueprint like I said human test skeleton is the same uh, we've been using already a couple of minutes so for this I'm gonna put here uh, anim BP as anim blueprint and I'm gonna enter into the properties of the blueprint uh, as you can see here on the bottom we have uh, different tabs one is called as a browser and the other one is called my blueprint on my blueprint we need to add the two variables that I told you guys at the first of this tutorial that, that it was is in there and uh, speed 
So first of all, let's let's create the is an air uh, variable. It's gonna be a bool type, and let's put it right here is in air question mark. And as you can see, it fixes every caps that that it has on the words because it is the way that is already been written uh, uh, on the project the way that is already set up so now we need to create a second variable and that one's gonna be speed and for this one we need to choose float and now for the name let's type speed so now that we have our float and our uh, and our bool here now we need to work with the event graph over here on the top so for that we need to copy couple of setups that we have already on the project like remember we we use a wizard and we did that only because we wanted this to make it easier so I'm gonna go to the file open asset and I'm gonna choose I'm gonna find for the hero blueprint here there we go and now I'm gonna copy all this and I'm gonna paste it over there for our blueprint so now I'm going to the NMBP I'm going to paste it right here. There we go. And for that, we already okay right now. We don't need to make any changes here. You can add more stuff for adding features and more things that you can use with your keyboard, mouse, game pads, blah, blah, blah. But we, I'm not going to enter into those details. So now on the NM graph, we need to add a state machine here. So just type state. When you right click, go to the search type state as and as you can see it says add new state machine click on that let's give this a name I'm gonna put state on it I'm just gonna link the state with the final animation pose and inside the state I'm gonna add a couple of setups here so we can add our blueprint inside there and we could tell them the speed and everything so from here I'm gonna add another state this one is going to be idle run. There we go. I'm going to link this with this one. And now inside here, I'm going to choose speed, get speed. And now we're going to choose our blueprint. That is the uh, the blend space, the file blend space. That is anim guy. And we're going to drag it over here. And we're just going to link these up. From here, if you choose, uh, yeah, right here it is. If you choose on the anim, on the speed, as you can see, you can change your speed here. So I'm gonna put this three, so it can looks a little bit uh, faster because the animations I made were slow. So now I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna compile to see if it works. Yeah, everything is working. As you can see, the compiler results. Everything is good. There's no errors or something like that so we are good to go and now that we have this already working here let's let's take it for the test drive so let's save this here I'm gonna compile again to be sure there we go everything is working so now I'm gonna close here and now we need to go to our blueprint the uh, the character blueprint in the game as and that one's called my character this is the one they made for the project so you can start with that one just double click on it so you can go to the properties and you need to go to the defaults here so you can change which blueprint and which character you want to use in the animations and from here we're going to be using our character it's going to be human test and now we're going to add his animations that the one that we made was called anim bp so now that the guy is already set up, let me save it and compile it. Okay, it's working good. So now I need to make this guy. Okay, okay. He's, uh, the size is okay. So now let's take it for the test drive, guys. Let's see what it does. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I need to make a. Uh, a jump animation because it sucks <laughs> it's freaking running on the air look at that <laughs> okay so here's the idle animation that's too fast 
But like I told you guys, you can change that inside the blueprint. So let's go to the blueprint once again. Let's go to the item graphs here. This one, the idle. Let's change the speed maybe to two. Now let's compile, save, close, play. Oh, now that's better. Okay, it's a little bit slower. Okay, that that looks normal. Yeah, that looks normal for the speed he's walking. Okay. Well, guys, uh, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment. Like always, to change you guys the easy way how to make things on the Unreal Engine, UDK, Unity, Cry Engine, and other engines like Blender and stuff like that. Ah, hope to see you guys for our next tutorials. More interesting tutorials are coming up and it will help you a lot. Like really, really, really much. Uh, well guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and write a comment. Bye-bye.